All right, so what we're going to do today <clears throat> is we're going to talk about how to align the coordinate system in Revit to match what the actual scenario is in real life to still be able to give you real time or real coordinate report out. So you can see in this case, I've aligned my structure, this transfer station, um, and this is all in relation to mining, right? So I've got the conveyor coming in here, discharge going out there, and I've aligned my building so that obviously this is the, the north, project north of this building, but the actual building itself still needs to have a real coordinate system set out for it, right? Um, so ideally, when we come in and want to annotate, let's say, you know, this particular location here, you can see that the values that are here are matching the northing and easting of the actual file, right? Now, if we have a look at this from uh, an AutoCAD perspective, in reality, I've always got a file like this to give me that exact set out of where I want to work to. So what I want to do is bring in a, let's go change this file, save this. So what I want to do is I want to take this file and use this to my advantage because if I come in and say ID this point here, you can see the readout 258 and so on and 153 is matching that exact structure but I want to work square to the building not true world right so or true north rather so what I want to do is I want to set this one out in a new file so if we go back to Revit and we say look I want to create a new file we go new and let's go structural template so inside my structural template, and I'm just going to close that one for the moment. All right, so in here, what I want to do is, first of all, I want to show in here my two points that are showing my coordinate system. So if I come to site, turn that on, and say I want to see the project point and the survey point, you can see they're both aligning at zero, zero. What I want to do is I want to change it so that my coordinate system that reads out, reads out differently, right? So the idea is I would come in here and I would insert my CAD link, browse to my file. Um, I don't need to orientate it to the view. I'm going to pick OK. And it's going to bring in, uh, um, so if you imagine the world UCS of AutoCAD, as inserted at the correct location here. So what I want to do is I want to move this reference from this point, grab this point here, move it all the way back to here and move it. Okay, hang on a second, that was my mistake. Let's unpin this first, that's better. Move from here. all the way down to here. Now the other thing I want to do is I want to rotate this by this to this angle here. So you want to figure out, you know, do I want to go 30 degrees? I know it's 30 degrees in this case, but I know this is my actual orientation of my um, file, right? So if we grab that uh, that uh, coordinate system there and we come back into coordinates and I've selected it and I said acquire the coordinates from that file what happens is is the system then goes and grabs that information and you can see now that I have my project coordinate system here and right at the end of the line is my survey point right and the survey point is what gives me the ability to read out those coordinates. So if I come back into here and we say annotate, grab a coordinate reading, pull this up here just so we can sort of see it's a little bit close. And there you can see I've got exact same readout as that file, but my building is still square. All right, and save.
Right, so what I'll do is I'm going to save my, my my second model because this is the second transfer tower in my in my uh, project. Pick OK. So I've got my model one and I've got my model two. Pick save. And what I want to do after the save is just quickly add something in here to give me some context. So you know, we'll come in. Let's place grid four A. Grab that, let's create some similar ones. And then from here to here, let's go one, create similar here to here. All right, so what we've now got is we've got some grids in there and I wanna come and place some structural columns. So again, just for argument's sakes, I'm gonna put in something. Right, so what we'll do is we'll just we're going to place because I'm on working on actual level two itself. I'm going to give us a depth of that there, there, and there. All right, now what I'm going to do here is save what I'm doing and I'm going to go file export and export an NWC file. So I'm going to export my NWC file, it's exported and then we're going to use that and align that with the other model right so in here in the other model i'm also going to export my um, nwc file um, remember I'm working in true north in both of these cases. and then we're going to put them into navisworks now, just to show you how the coordinate system impacts everything, what I've done is I've opened up that DWG file that had my layout of my transfer stations and my three conveyors in it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to append my Navis first model, which was um, that first transfer station. Hit append. And then I'm going to append the second one. And have it come in right and you can see straight away that everything is obviously drop into here you can see the buildings have come into their correct location or correct view to start with right so even though technically in Revit I'm working in true or the north of the structure to make my modeling easier you can still reference them easily into other files and applications and i can still get a readout of any coordinate system at any point so for example if i have that id that i talked about before and want a spot location what is it you know it's going to tell me right so the other thing that i was going to show was uh, even though i'm working in my I guess we'll call it my, my building north or, you know, to keep it square. I might want to see the other file in reference because obviously multiple models could be a shoot or something that's inside the building. And, and I, it may have, a, you know, something that I want to see. So I want to bring in that second transfer station in relation to my first one. So I want to use the shared coordinate system because we got it in a coordinate system from that original DWG and when choosing the positioning by the shared coordinate system because we have a, a unified survey point that you can see here on this file so you can see both have the same sort of survey point if I pick OK pick OK you know if I zoom out there is my second model if I just bring up and that's obviously my 2D reference in the background there. But if I come back out to my 3D view, it becomes a whole lot more apparent. So you can see I'm looking in plan view. There's my building and then there's my second conveyor um, sitting in that location. Cool. Hopefully that makes sense.